So I wake up this morning, ready to have a nice McDonald's breakfast to kickstart my strong day. And I see news. I see not so nice news. Nikki Haley, who used to work for me, okay? She's now running for president in 2024. Very interesting. Because you know who else is running for president? Me. It's called me. And... It's called disloyalty. Now, I accept this from White Boots DeSantis. He's practically got disloyal in his name. But for Nikki Haley to do this is very disappointing. It's very disappointing. Now, she might just be auditioning for vice president, and I hope if she does, she shows off a lot of leg. You know, like, because Carrie Lake has promised me I want to be discreet and a gentleman. Strong, hardcore sexual favors if I make her my vice president. So, obviously, Nikki Haley has to step up. You know, and I say that as a strong hashtag girl dad. Respect, uh, excuse me, I respect women a lot more than you, okay? I pay for their Ubers when I kick them out. You probably don't. You probably, you know what the thing about you is? You probably can't even afford Uber. So sad. Shut up. But Nikki Haley, I was warned, by the way, she's Indian, okay? So it's, it's okay. But I was warned by my great friend in India, Nathan Modi, and he said, don't trust Indian women, sir. And I said, why? He said, we have a song here by the Indian Belle Biv DeVoe. They say, never trust thin lips and a smile. That girl is poison. And I noticed that Nikki Haley has almost no lips. And you know what that is? You know what it is. And you have no lips. The lies can come out of your mouth faster. And now she's already going to start lying. She's probably going to say bad things about me. So I don't support her. I think it's disloyal and disgraceful. My friend Nathan Modi warned me. I should have listened to him. Now I'm listening very strongly. But Nikki Haley, you're going to lose. And we won't see you for another 9,000 years like Haley's Comet. So bye-bye.